Okay, so I thought I'd do another Paw Patrol one. And this one's Puppy Birthday to You. So, one windy afternoon in Adventure Bay, a box moved down the street towards Katie's pet parlour. But this box wasn't being blown by the wind. It was creeping down the street on eight paws. Suddenly, a big gust blew the box away, revealing sky and rubble underneath. They quickly scampered into the shop. Inside, Ryder, Katie and Rocky were getting ready for Chase's surprise birthday party. Who's making sure Chase doesn't surprise us while we set up, Sky asked. Marshall, Rocky said. He can keep a secret, can't he? There we go. Look at them getting ready. Across town, Marshall and Chase were playing in Pup Park. They swung on the swings and slid down the slide. Maybe we should go find Ryder in the pups, Chase said. No, Marshall protested. We can't because it's... um. So nice out. Just then, the wing picked up again and blew them right across the park. So, Marshall's trying to keep Chase busy. Back at the pet parlour, the lights suddenly went dark and Katie's mixer stopped. All the lights on the street are out, Rocky yelped. Ryder thought he knew what was wrong. Paw Patrol, to the lookout. The team raced to the lookout, but without electricity, the doors wouldn't open. Luckily, Rocky had a screwdriver, which did the trick. Once they were inside, Ryder used his telescope to check Adventure Bay's windmills. Just as I thought, he said. The wind broke a propeller. Since the windmill can't turn, it can't make electricity. We need to fix it. There's a broken propeller look on the wind turbine. Ryder looked at Rocky. We'll need something from your truck to fix the broken blade. Green means go, Rocky said, preparing for action. We'll need Marshall's ladder to climb up and fix the windmill, said Ryder. Marshall nodded. I'm fired up. Chase, the traffic lights won't work without electricity, Ryder continued. I need you to use your siren and megaphone to direct traffic. These paws uphold the laws, Chase declared. Meanwhile, Sky, Zuma and Rudbull raced back to the pet parlour to continue setting up for Chase's surprise birthday. It was very dark, but Katie had a torch. At the centre of town, Chase busily directed traffic. You're our hero, Major Goodway said as she crossed the street safely. I'm just doing my poor patrol duty, Chase said. Up in the hills, Ryder, Marshall and Rocky went to work on the broken windmill. Ryder climbed Marshall's ladder and removed the old blade while Rocky looked for a replacement one. No, not a tyre, not a garden chair, Rocky said, pulling stuff out his truck. At last he found what he wanted. Here it is, my old surfboard. This surfboard will catch a breeze and help turn it into electricity. Rocky said as he bolted the board into place. The wind picked up and the windmill started to turn. The lights came on all over Adventure Bay. The traffic lights started working again. Ryder and the Paw Patrol did it, Chase announced through his megaphone. My work here is done. The lights in the pet parlour glowed brightly. Hooray, cheered Sky. But then she frowned. Ah, oh, there's no time to make a cake. Katie thought for a moment. I have an idea. 
As Chase drove back to the lookout, he got a call from Ryder. We need you at Katie's, in a hurry. When Chase got there, everything was dark and quiet. Chase stepped inside. The lights went on. Surprise, everyone yelled. Chase was amazed. Wow, you guys turned the lights back on and made a party for me. We didn't have time to bake you a real cake, Katie said. So we hope you like your pup treat cookie cake. Oh, yeah, look, it's all pup, it's all dog treats with candles on. And Chase has got a birthday cake look in the star. And there is everyone. Whenever it's your birthday, just yelp for help, Ryder said with a laugh. All the puppies cheered and enjoyed a taste of Chase's special cake. And there we go. That was puppy birthday to you. A surprise birthday party for Chase. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Bye-bye.